Welcome to bonus content for Free Space Dilma G's 2009 remake of High Noon. Uh, this is something I did play, I did play testing for back in the day. Apparently, the map is offset a little bit, uh, but this was made for like FSO version 3.6.10, and we're on 4.5.1 now, so uh, something's going to break. <clears throat> so. At 2349 hours, the, the Sathanas entered the Capella system and neutralized the blockade. Command is now preparing to deploy the GTVA Colossus, our last resort. We must end this war here and now. The Sathanas Juggernaut has two of its beam cannons fully operational. With this kind of firepower, it has the ability to pose a large threat to the Colossus. Our objective is to neutralize these beam cannons to minimize damage to allied warships during the engagement. Our remaining objective will be to assist in the Juggernaut's destruction. However, this has been made considerably harder now that Sheevan reinforcements have run the blockade and are now in position with the Juggernaut. It will take a considerable amount of firepower to break through the Sathanas' defenses and destroy it. Destroying the escort will be our secondary objective. The Diaus, our Gravana-class destroyer, leads the escort. Its beams pose the greatest threat to our forces. Prioritize accordingly. Do not let it impede your efforts to neutralize the, the Satanas, or we will all pay the price. This is our finest hour, pilots. If we fail here, we sacrifice the whole GTVA 4th Fleet for nothing. The Satanas has, has the power to neutralize any ship in the Alliance with ease. If this plan fails, we will have nothing left to do. The Satanas is dependent upon its forward beams, so our role is paramount. I will fly Alpha-1. Terran, you will lead Beta Wing. Delta and Epsilon, you will fly fighters for this mission. Cover Alpha and Beta, respectively. Report to your crew chiefs on the flight deck in five minutes. So, primary objectives. Destroy Sathanas' forward beam cannons and destroy the Juggernaut. Secondarily, destroy the ships escorting the Juggernaut. Uh, this is going to be very different from the canon uh, version of High Noon you j that uh, went up this morning. Um, because there's a lot more to do. In canon, if you if you ace bear baiting, you're pretty much just there to watch the light show. That's not the case here. So let's commit. Uh, here's the GTD Shamra. We have other additional fleet assets already. Moving to position on the Juggernaut's flank and mount an attack on the broad side to take the pressure off for as long as we can. Once the cans are down, the Allied Command will deploy the remainder of the forces. Unfortunately for the Shamra, there's a Lilith-class cruiser out there, and it's not possible to get out there, to, which is going to force it to withdraw, and it's not possible to get out there to disarm its beam can in time. Even though that's, uh, in having done voice work for this campaign that never got implemented, I know that that's in the objectives of something that's possible, that's supposed to be possible to do, but it's not. There it goes. Destroy your target. Get him, Beta. First cannon down. Oh, let me max my throttle. <laughs> Three, two, 
one. Ah, damn it, it shook me off a lock. bomb onto this beam turret over here in an effort to save the genre. Let me get away from these flat cannons. Genre. All right. I only got one one fighter in gamma left. My wingmen are all dead. God, will you just die already? <laughs> At least 
Sometimes I'm keeping them from locking, from locking bombs on the infinity. Alright, support is here. And the warships are actually maneuvering, it's great. Stand by. <coughs> All right, got a clear shot. Wonder why the Soma is not hitting the Viceroy over there. Oh, it's probably too long range. It looks further away than it is. It looks it looks closer than it is. No beam cannons for you. Nope. Shields, oh god. Oh good. Alpha One wants to mount a counterattack as soon as possible. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to launch the Helios there. Five, four, three, two, one, get wrecked. No hostile targets left. The Juggernaut's escort has been neutralized. And we got, I think, all of our capital ships through in one piece. The Sanctus, Avaris, the Infinity lived. Yeah, I think we got all our capital ships through. At least I don't remember uh, Command calling out losing one. So, uh, that'll be that. Let's jump out of here. Got three kills. One of them's gonna be that, uh, gonna be that Arkshasa. Excellent work, pilots. We have proven without a doubt that we have nothing to fear with the Colossus, and the Shivans can and will be defeated. Our success in disabling the forward beam cannons was instrumental in ensuring our victory today. While we lost many good brothers and sisters today, we saved many more with our actions. 
I have approved passes of leave for all of you pilots who serve today. The entirety of Capella is celebrating our victory, and I see it as only fair that you be allowed to partake in our celebrations. I have arranged for you to travel aboard a Terran Elysium transport to the planet itself. For some of you, it will be your first visit since basic flight training. Terran, I understand you were based here, so welcome home. Dismissed, pilots. No recommendations. Statistics. Three total kills and one assist. We got uh, one Nahima Bomber, the Rakshasa, and I got the kill credit on the Ravana just for winging a, uh, a few trebuchets into it. Um, because it only counts, it doesn't count beam damage as part of the uh, calculations, so if all of his damage is done by beams except for what I shot it with, I get the kill. So that is, uh, that will be that. Uh, before we go, I will say that uh, Dilma G, uh, when he came back to, uh, to making missions for Free Space 2 last year, um, not to brag at my, uh, at my urging, uh, did a, uh, started another remake of this, but it's still in, and it's still in beta, and I have beta access, but I don't think I should be making beta footage public, uh, without, without talking it over with him first, so, um, but I'm recording this way in advance, so if it uh, if that's released by the by the middle of March when this goes up, I will have that as a bonus episode also. But if not, uh, it'll wait until it's done. So with that said, this is Paladin Gaming signing off.